And we hear the same things from people. I, I'm glad of the day the Lord saved me. And then several years later, He filled me with the Holy Ghost. And then several years later, He touched me again. And then several years later, He blessed me again. And then when I was older, Amen? I remember years ago, I was preaching for a pastor and he took me fox hunting one night after church. I, I, uh, I went just mainly for the fellowship. But I remember sitting on the tailgate of that truck and you could hear those hounds when they would hit a high place. But then they'd drop off of that high place and they'd go out here. And he'd sit there saying they'll be back in a minute or two. <laughs> kind of like us Pentecostal people do. Well, God will move again. God moved back then, but God's going to move again someday. But I've got to read in this again. He prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And then three and a half years later, he prayed it rained. But in between that, he said, in between that, there was a brook called Charon. He man where twice a day a raven would fly in with bread and flesh. He man and feed him in the morning and feed him in the evening. He man in the space of those three and a half years, there was a widow woman down in Zarephath that was gathering up sticks and had just enough meal in a barrel and just enough cruise of oil that she was going to bake a cake for her and her boy and they were going to eat it and they were going to die. But in the space of that three and a half years, that meal barrel never failed and the cruise of oil never failed. In the space of that time, that boy fell dead and Elijah raised him. In the space of that three and a half years, God sent fire down from heaven and answered a 63 word prayer of the man of God. Come on. Amen. In the space of that three and a half years, the prophets of Jezebel and the prophets of Baal, amen, were put to the sword. In the space of that three and a half years, amen, Elijah done all these things. And I'd like to preach to you tonight. Amen. We sometimes in our testimony, it seems like there's a gap in there. God blessed me here. And then God blessed me here. And then God blessed me over here. But I will tell you, friend, amen, in that gap between the times that we acknowledge God's blessing and that gap in those times between revival, between the shout downs, between the great move of God. Amen. God is still moving just because we don't hear the hounds that ran over top of the mountain don't mean the race ended, friend. It just got out of your hearing. It's still going on. And I want to preach tonight if the Lord will help me on this glory in the gap. And if you happen to be standing in one of those gaps tonight, amen? Come on. You ever been in one of them gaps? Amen. Amen. Praise God. You ever been in one of them gap situations? Amen. Where you know God moved over here and you're trusting that He's going to move over here, but you're just standing in a place where it seems kind of dry and won't take you. Amen. If God didn't do nothing from the time He shut up heaven till the time He opened it back up, that'd be a mighty long dry spell, friend. Amen. Amen. If God didn't do nothing in the meantime, nothing in between, nothing from here to there. Amen. But I feel like today, friend, amen, if you're in that gap, between the great moves of God, God's still moving today. And He's still moved for you. And He's still able to move for you. And He's still right here in this service. And He's still healing. And He's still delivering. And He's still saving. And He's still sanctifying. And He's still baptizing with heaven's sweet Holy Ghost. And He's still able to do that tonight. Amen. I feel the presence of the Lord. Ready? Amen. 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 We sometimes, and I, I, Brother John, I've seen it like this. Right in the middle of revival where you'd have a good service that night and then the next day. It'd be as one old preacher said years ago. He said, I wish I could pick up tomorrow night 
like I left off last night. He said, but there's a devil you face in between. Amen. And in that gap between the shout down of Monday night, amen, and the service of Tuesday night, there's a Tuesday day where in that gap if we don't remember that God's still blessing them, we'll come to the house of God and we're almost defeated when we walk through the door. Amen. Amen. I need help. Amen. I may slow down here a little bit. Amen. But I feel like the Lord's giving me this. Amen for this. Amen. Amen. Have you ever heard somebody say, after a good service, boy, oh, we're in for it tomorrow night. Oh, the devil, we pulled one over on the devil tonight. Friend, you pulled nothing over on the devil. Amen. He had to sit right there and watch it. He had to get that salt poured in the wound. Amen. Amen. I'm going tell you tonight, friend, if we can remember, amen, from the time that we walk out these doors till the time we come back in, that God's still moving and God's still blessing and you're still a child of God. You're just as saved at your address as you are at this address. Amen. You are just as much a holy child of God where you live that's where you worship, amen? Amen. But we, we don't see the glory in the gap. Amen. It is almost a, it is almost a quasi-Catholicism. Amen. Where we walk in and everything's holy and everything's righteous. But as soon as we walk back out, we, we're just waiting on the next time we can get in there. And in that gap, we forget about it all. In that gap, we forget about how God moves. In that, amen, amen. Praise God, there's a man sent me a message today, a text on my phone, amen. And he said, Brother Asher, hey, and I forgot, I, I want us all to pray for him tonight, amen. And he said, Brother Asher, I'm going in for some very serious tests. They have found a mass. They have found a, a situation that looks bad. And I said these words, Brother Sean. I said, we will be praying tonight. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Amen. Come on. They need you at the store, Sister Courtney. We've got this great situation. We'll be praying for you at church this weekend. We're going to take our prayer request tonight at church. Woo! Are you going to help me? Amen! 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 Somebody looked at my Bible one time and said, You about wore that thing out. You must have had it a long time. I said, No, I've not had it a long time. Amen. Well, I don't know about all that sweating in it and amen and crying in it and wallowing on the Word of God. Amen. I'm going to tell you, friend, the Word of God. Don't quit being the Word of God when service ends tonight and the songs is high and we ought to quit singing them just because the service is over that night. And then we get in that gap, Brother Mickey, and we wonder why we get in the shape that we get in when we can shout in the house of God. But by the time we get back to our house, we've done lost it all because we only see God moving here and we only see God moving here. But I'll tell you, if He is God, He's God on the mountain and He's God in the valley. If He is God, He is God omnipotent. Amen. Amen. Well, we got the we got the bottle of oil here. You mean you ain't got one at your house? Well, we got an altar here. You ain't got one at your house. Amen. Amen. I feel the Holy Ghost of God here. We need your help tonight, saints. Amen. I feel like right now that we're in a little gap right here. Amen. Just looking for revival to bust loose. Just looking for revival to go over the top. Amen. But can I tell you, friend, if we can roll back the curtain of heaven tonight and kick open the doorway of hell tonight and us standing right in between the two, there wouldn't be a quiet voice in this building tonight, nor would there be a hand hanging limply down if we could really understand that He's God when I'm feeling Him and He's God when I'm not feeling Him. Amen. He's God when I'm running the aisles and He's God when I'm not running the aisles. He's still God. Amen. 
and you might be in a gap between shouts tonight, but I believe it'd be a good time to lift a hand up and magnify the Lord and glorify Him. Amen. You reckon? I'd say, amen. I'd say it was a wondrous time, Brother Bill, up on Mount Carmel. Amen. When the servant came back and said, Behold, a little cloud ariseth out of the sea about like a man's hand. And Brother David, he said, You go down and tell Ahab to get to Jezreel and that the rain stop him not. Woo! I feel the Lord here. Amen. And Elijah girded his loins and run ahead of the chariot, outran it into the gates of Jezreel. Amen. You reckon there's some shouting going on right there? You reckon there's a little bit of worship going on right there? But I don't know if it would have been much more than that day, that first day, that first morning down by the brook. And old Elijah sitting there. Amen. Where's God got me now? Amen. Ain't got nobody here with me. I'm right here by myself. Ain't got no church around me. Ain't nobody singing. Ain't nobody shouting. And all of a sudden he looks way out yonder and he sees a little black speck coming. Yeah, come on. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Don't shoot an amen before have somebody close to you. Amen. The worst possible thing they can do. Don't get about 90 yards out there and they jump. Yonder comes one. Yonder goes one too. Amen. Amen. But I can just see old Elijah looking way out yonder. Seeing that little black speck, wondering what that is. Wondering what that is coming. Amen. God said something about a raven. And here it comes. Amen. And it's got something in its little old claws. And it drops a piece of meat in his hand. And it drops a piece of bread in his hand. Amen. And that evening he sees that little black speck coming again. You reckon his hand might have lifted up? You reckon he might have said, Thank you, Jesus? I'm going to tell you, friend, I feel like we're in a gap here right now when we ought to be praising God, when we ought to be magnifying God. Amen. Can I tell you, amen? The Lord is good. He is great and greatly to be praised. Amen. Yes, there's going to be another downpour. Yes, there's going to be another high place. Yes, there's going to be another hey, the witness and testimony. All right. oh. Amen. I forget the old British preacher. It may have been J. Stuart Holden. Amen. I, I forget which one it was. But the old British preacher who was in a service where different ones were testifying. And one testified about being on a ship and in the middle of the ocean the ship caught fire. And God made the way for them to make it to the shore. Another one stood up with a miraculous thing that God had done. That preacher finally stood up and said, I come church tonight and never had no problem getting here. Yeah. Nothing got in the way. Right. Nothing. Right. Amen. Amen. Well, God didn't deliver me from drugs and alcohol. But he saved a 13-year-old boy. He saved a child. He's kept every one of us today. Amen. You were on the radar screen of the adversary today. And here you are tonight in the house of God. You could have messed up dramatically today. You could have thrown it all away today. But God came by and God was on the scene. And I've come to praise Him tonight. Amen. Amen. I mean, if, he, he, if somebody run through that back door right now and said, I have cancer, and we prayed for them and they got healed, we said we tear this place down because that's one of them high places. Right. Right. Let me ask you now, how many of you don't have cancer as far as you know? You ain't got it. You ain't got it. Amen. Amen. Even though oncologists say that there are cells in every human body that go cancerous every day of your life. But there's something in the human body that stops it. 
Glory to God. You are, amen. If one of us was to fall out with a heart attack tonight, we prayed, amen. And they were delivered. Brother David, we tear this place down. But your heart's beating fine tonight. Amen. Well, we're waiting on that next high spot to praise him. We're waiting on when we get out of this gap, we're going to praise him again. A oh, friend, I'm going to praise him in the gap. Amen. I read about that enemy, Brother Raymond. Amen. Israel had won a great victory on Yon Mountain. Amen. And the enemy came up with a plan and they said, Their God is a God of mountaintops and not a God of valleys. Ain't it amazing how many Pentecostal people would have agreed with that heathen king right there? Yeah, he's God when we're up on the mountaintop. Yeah, we'll shout when we're up on the mountaintop. Yeah, we'll praise him when we're up on the mountaintop. We'll be faithful when we're up on the mountaintop. We'll do everything we need to do when we're up on the mountaintop. Well, oh, okay. Amen. God said, I'm God of the valley also. Amen. He's God in the lowest place you've ever been. He's God when you can't lift your head up. He's God when you can't. Amen. Take another step. Amen. 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 God. Amen. God being God right now. And you have one waiting on another mountaintop. Right. Right. Amen. I, I listened to some tapes, CDs, of a Baptist preacher. A very, very conservative Baptist preacher. Not what we are, but he was a very conservative Baptist preacher. And I, I listened to the Sets or the, the replays of that revival, and there was no gigantic high points, nor no gigantic low points. The word of God was the same every night, and the response was the same every night. We ain't like us Pentecostal folks, no, 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 sure ain't. Amen. We, we hit it on high spots. Come on now. We're mountaintop shouters, friend. Right. We're amen. mountaintop amen. faithful. Amen. 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 If we're on the mountaintop, amen. amen, bless God, we'll beat Brother Sidney to church. Amen. But if we ain't on the mountaintop, FBI can't find you. Amen. 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 If we're on the mountaintop, it's grab the bottle of oil. We'll go through a bunch of them. Amen. But amen. But when we ain't on the mountaintop, the oil turns wine in the bottle. Amen. Stinks so bad when you take the lid off. You about have to, amen, take it outside. Amen. Amen. I'll tell you, friend, if we realize that, amen, there's glory right in the gap, I believe we can lift up a hand and praise Him here in the house of God tonight. Amen. Amen. How's your baby sister Courtney? She's been doing all right. Amen. Did, didn't, didn't have to be rescued today. Didn't have to be delivered today. Amen. Didn't have to call 911 today. Amen. Amen. But God's been there all day. Glory to God. How many that's something to praise God for? Amen. Brother Bill, I ain't took an ambulance ride today. Ain't been hurt today. Had plenty to eat today. Felt good today. Prayed good today. Felt the Lord today. Have a feeling tonight in the house of God. Amen. 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 Brother David. Amen. Well, we didn't have to. We didn't have to give in requests for you tonight. You're right here. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Well, we, we didn't have to. We didn't have to wonder. Amen. Why? Sister one more Sister Lee says, hope nothing bad happened. She's right here in the house of God. Why I wish you could understand this little simple thought that the Lord has laid on my heart tonight. Let's don't just praise Him on the mountaintops. Let's praise Him between mountaintops. Amen. Amen. There's a raven with some bread and flesh for you. Amen. There's some fire that comes down from heaven. There's a miracle at the meal barrel for you. Amen. Woo! Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. We, we are the folks that have shouted. 
Amen. Amen. And I, I, I'm, I'm with them. Amen. Amen. When the when the box comes with with big cans of beef still in it, Amen. I'm fine to shout that. Amen. Amen. But I'm gonna tell you, you weren't going hungry before we got there. Amen. Amen. Well, God, God moved for me. God put gas in my car. Amen. He's gas in your car every time you start it up. Amen. 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 I'm talking about the gap tonight, Brother Sean. Between the time God shut it down and between the time God started it up, God was moving every day and keeping that prophet every day and blessing that prophet every day and feeding that prophet every day. Amen. Amen. No wonder David said, had it not been for the Lord that was on our side when men rose against us, had it not been in the Lord that was on our side, then may Israel say, okay tonight friend, there's a bunch we'd say if God hadn't been on our side, but the only thing I know to say, because He has been on our side, is glory be to the Lamb of God. I want to thank Him here tonight. Amen. Amen. Well, amen somebody get a hold of them in song service tomorrow night and they'll just, we'll run the aisles and we'll shout and we'll thank God. And um, Amen. You reckon God will start being God then? Oh. Oh, now. Oh, Woo! Oh, amen. You reckon God will start being God then? Oh, or is He God right now? Oh, amen. Amen. No to many. That would mean nothing. Amen. A little one pointing to the mouth. Amen. I'm hungry. Amen. I'm hungry. Lord, please, I'm hungry. Amen. That wouldn't mean much to a bunch. Amen. But right in that gap, you are, you couldn't make it here last night. Amen. That puts you in a gap when you have Miss Surf's too. Amen. But God comes by and God shows that that grace is right there in a place where nobody might not be looking for the grace of God. I feel like in this service tonight, amen, no, there ain't a mist rising in the building. No, there ain't lights flashing. No, ain't nobody rolling in the floor. But somebody can get established here tonight and make their mind up that if he's going to be God all the time, then I'm going to be his all the time. Amen. 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 I have seen it packed. And you have to. And I believe you will again. Amen. Amen. But I also believe that right here tonight, he's just as much God as he was in the highest mountain top. Let me tell you about when he saved me. I'll sit right there and listen to it and shout. Let me tell you when he sank him, I'll sit right there and listen to him shout. Let me tell you about that night that I went through to the Holy Ghost. I'll sit right there and listen to him shout. But I will remind you that between every one of those times, God was right there in the business of being God. God was right there every morning. Amen. When you woke up and took your first breath. Amen. And it hadn't been robbed from you in the night. God was right there. Amen. When the devil laid the cross hairs of iniquity across you and said, One more step, and I'll drag her so far down she'll never come back out. But on that day, right in that gap, God was still God. Amen. And God. Amen. 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 God, it is not always scraping your flesh with a pot shard in the gap. It's not always stocks in a Philippian jail right. when you're in the gap. That's right. It's not always a Goliath on the mountain when you're in the gap. Right. Sometimes you're just between the high spots. Right. 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 Come on. Right. Come on. Right. Ain't nothing real bad going on. 
But ain't nothing real good going on. Ain't nothing real low. Ain't no reason to give up. But this ain't much reason to get all excited. Come on. Come on. Amen. 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 Woo. Anybody saved here tonight? Whoa. Have you been saved all day? Woo. Amen. Amen. I was about to tell on myself, Brother Sidney, but I think this time I will use discretion and not. Amen. My sleep was robbed from me last night by my own ignorance. Amen. Amen. Worrying about something that I have no business worrying about. Amen. Amen. But I will say this much about it. If you vote her in, we'll all have something to worry about. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen, Brother Potter. Amen. There I lay rolling and twisting and turning, not able to sleep. Amen. Brother Raymond called me early this morning and I didn't want to get up. I did not, under no circumstances, want to get up. Didn't want to even open my eyes. Wanted to cover my head up and stay there. Amen. And all the while, God saying, Child, I'm God. I'm God through every bit of this. He's God, whoever setting up yonder in the White House. He's God, whoever is in charge. He's God, whoever is in control. But we get down in that gap and we say, when I get on that high top again, I'll shout the victory. Well, you're looking at one tonight. Amen. That's going to shout the victory right here tonight in the house of God. My God's kept me all day. I've been saved all day. And the devil don't like it very bit. Amen. Low and watch what I'll do to him. Let me put trouble in his life and watch what will happen. Let me get him in that gap and watch what will happen. And here we are in the house of God tonight. Amen. 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 I reckon you all that have never had a problem, you are exempt from this. Amen. Amen. Sister Judy. Amen. He took his best shot. Hell through everything hell had. Yes, sir. Hell started their battle in the garden. And from the garden to Mount Calvary, hell through everything hell had. Hell held nothing back. Hell through idolatry, wickedness, perversion, everything hell could throw. Amen. Amen. I, I read in Revelation, and I am not a, I am not a, a prophetic man at all. Amen. I don't understand it all, but I'm gonna tell you, friend, there's already been a bunch of stuff come out of that bottomless pit. Amen. And we've come up against a bunch of it. Amen. Amen. But God's kept us. But on that cross of Calvary, the Lamb of God said, It is finished. Amen. And tonight, if you've been saved all day today and can worship God with us a moment or two, amen. Now, sit now, now when you want them gaps, you can't do much. I'll tell you what you can do. You can call out on the Lord. Amen. You can call out on God in this service tonight. Amen. 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 Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost of God here now. Amen. Amen. We're just not hardly right there yet, preacher. We'd, 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 we'd be dealing with you if we're if we just there yet. Amen. Amen. I, li I love what a uh, brother said down in the Carolinas. And I've said it here before. When he got done praising God and shouting and glorifying God. Amen. And someone looked at him and said, Did God really tell you to do that? He looked at him and said, No, the devil told me not to. <laughs> Amen. I'm going to tell you, friend, the devil told me already. Look, it ain't going over a bit. Ain't Whoa. nobody shouting. Ain't nobody running. Ain't nobody rolling in the floor. So we might as well just close her down right now. Amen. I'm standing right in 
the middle of two big mountain tops and I'm looking at the one where he saved me and I'm looking at another brother Mitchell or I'm going to go with him after a while. Amen. The ride in that gap. Amen. I'm going to lift up a hand and praise my God and worship my God. My healing God. My delivering God. Right. Amen. Get somebody. Get somebody. We, we have enjoyed the high spot so greatly that when we're not there, it just don't hardly suit us. We're like somebody who got in a place where they got to catching a big lot of fish just one right after another. And then they ain't never satisfied of going somewhere we got to wait on by. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Brother Raymond went to Wisconsin the first time. And we was moving between 30 and 35 birds a day. And dogs was just working that. And, and, and I said, I want to live in Wisconsin forever and ever and ever. Get back to Ohio and run them down them mountains and green briars cutting your throat and choking you down. And, Amen. Crawling up hillsides and here one bird on top of the mountain, he goes down the other side, and there you go again. Amen. And we we sometimes get like that. Boy, I remember that boy that last time on the mountain. Boy, we shouted, man, it was good there. Amen. It's just this good ride here tonight. Amen. Salvation is just as good where you are right this moment. Amen. Amen. Heaven is just as real right now. The glory of God is just as real. The power of God is just as real. Yes. Right. yes Hallelujah, Jesus. Help us, God. Help us, God. Well, we don't. We, 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 we don't see it when it's kind of like that. Amen. Like that fog that lays in the valleys all morning. But you get up above it. You get up above that fog. Amen. All of a sudden, everything's clear. Amen. What was you doing down in that fog, son? I was breathing. I was living. I was still alive right down there. Amen. And before you can get on the mountaintop, you better learn to negotiate the gap. And if you can't negotiate the gap, You'll never see the next mountain top. Amen. But when you learn to negotiate the gap, when you learn how to exist in the gap, when you learn how to shout in the gap, when you learn how to preach when they ain't 50 beating you on the back saying, come on, come on. When you learn how to sing when they ain't but about one string in tune. When you learn how to play a tambourine when the middle's busted out of it, it's got one jingler left. When you, amen. When you learn how to go ahead even when the air conditioner shuts down. When you learn how to go ahead even when the, amen, something don't suit you. Amen. Wait till you get to the mountaintop next time. Glory to God. Brother Bill, you let somebody shout all the way through that gap. And brother, when they get on that mountaintop again, amen, ain't no wonder Elijah said, when that little cloud that didn't look like nothing rose up, ain't no wonder Elijah said, tell Ahab to get to Jezreel. <laughs> Woo! Amen. What makes you so overly competent there, man of God? It just looks like a little man's hand out yonder. We ain't had rain in three and a half years. Yeah, but in that three and a half years, I've been eating raven food. Amen. In that three and a half years, I've been watching meal barrels that never went dry. In that three and a half years, I've watched dead boys come back to life. In that three and a half years, I've watched fire come down from heaven. In that three and a half years, I've watched God do exceeding abundantly above. Amen. 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 You get up there again, you'll think about a little boy. 
Amen. When you get to the mountaintop next time, and then you'll remember, man, when I was in my lowest place, I lifted up my hand. God. It is said, and this is this is this is undocumented legendary history. But it is said that in the Battle of Waterloo, the first of the battle, England was completely almost routed from the field. Napoleon had just about completely overwhelmed them. Napoleon was supposed to have sent spies out to look upon the British camp. When the spies came back, Napoleon asked, what is the disposition of the enemy? And the scout looked at him and said, they are singing. And Napoleon supposedly said, we have lost the battle. Yes. Amen. Oh. Amen. What are they doing down in that gap, little demons? Well, I went by there, and their hands were lifted up. And they were praising God. They were worshiping God. Amen. Amen. Ain't no wonder the devil, amen, worried about him getting to the top of Mount Calvary. Amen. Because all that happened in that gap between the manger in Bethlehem and the cross on Mount Calvary. Amen. I'm going to tell you, friend, there's some things that are ready for the mountaintop. Amen. And I'm going to tell you what's ready for the mountaintop is that that's been conditioned in the gap to worship God and praise God. I love youth, youth rallies and youth camps and things like that. But I am certainly glad that ain't the only time young people can praise God. We're going to have youth, youth, youth service. Every service is youth service. Right. Youth won't have service. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. I, 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 amen. I, I, don't, don't take me wrong. Amen. Young people. Amen. You got youth rally coming up. You reckon it'll be a high spot? Thanks, so? Hoping it will. Let me tell you how to help it out. <laughs> Let Dr. Asher give you a prescription here <laughs> on how to make Saturday. Amen. Amen. Right where you are right now. Lift up your hands. Right. Praise right. this great yes. God of ours. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Amen. My wife came to the altar years ago and she was praying. And somebody leaned over to me and nudged me. And they said, What's your wife praying for? I said, She's praying for the baptism of the Holy Ghost. They look like I hit them with a skillet. They said, I thought she already had it. I said, no, she don't. They said, well, she acts like she does. I said, yeah. She dresses like she does. All right. Yeah. She shouts like she does. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you, friend, when the Lord filled her with the Holy Ghost worship, what no strange thing that she had to learn. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. I'm going to tell you tonight. He may heal me before the morning, Sister Lisa. But if he does, I'll sure know how to worship him. Because I'm going to worship him before he does. I feel like Sister Kim praising him right here tonight in the house of the Lord. Oh, I wish y'all felt like I felt right now. Amen. 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 Didn't that save you? Could have left you right where you was. Amen. But he saved you. You've been in a bunch of gaps since then. But thank God tonight. Amen. Right in the middle of it all. Amen. But Brother John, amen. You never quit when it looked bad for you. You never quit. You kept on going. How right. well, many times the devil has told every preacher in this building, give it up. It's over for you. You're done. You're a has-been. You're finished. What a gap to be in. Then 
me ask you, what got you out of the gap? Did you ever preach yourself out of the gap? Brother Sean, I don't know if you have or not, but I've preached myself out of gaps. Amen. I preached how wonderful he was when I felt like I was in the lowest place in heaven. Amen. Amen. I don't know if you remember old Brother Rogers from the Brown from Lanchester area, Brother Edgar Rogers. When I was a young, young, young preacher, I was in revival in Cincinnati during the time when his wife passed away. And it was about two or three nights after the funeral, he came walking into the church. I didn't see him. I was sitting on the front row. He come up and sat down beside me. Didn't, didn't have a Bible, I don't think. Just come sit down beside me. I put my arm around him. Brother Bill, I said, Brother Roger, I'm, I'm so sorry. He shook his head. Well, what is it, son? As he testified that night, and he stood up. Tall, lanky. He stood up and said, I'm putting the devil on notice. When I get over this, he's got a bad enemy on his hands. <laughs> and he sat back down. He come four nights, and four nights testified that. The fifth night, he come in with his Bible under his arm, with his finger in it. And he sat down by me and said, Well, Asher, you might not get to preach tonight. I said, Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, friend, the devil didn't get a bad enemy when he got over it. The devil got a bad enemy when he was getting over it. Right. Right. Amen. Right. And the devil ain't going to have a bad enemy when Pine Grove is pushing the walls out. He's already got one here right now. He ain't going to have a bad enemy when Morningtown, amen, is packed to the gills. He's already got a bad enemy. If we'll remember who God is and remember what God's able to do. Amen. But when I get over this, I'm going to shout. Well, I believe I'm shouting my way over it. Amen. Amen. Woo! I believe I just lift a hand and praise Him over it. Glorify Him. Thank you. Glory to God. Amen. I wish you'd worship Him tonight, saints. Amen. Let's obey God here in the service tonight. Let's obey God. Amen. Why ain't running aisles? You might before it's over with. Amen. 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 The walls of Jericho never fell on the first one. Amen. There's some walking they did. They walked around and they walked around and they walked around. And it looked like nothing was going on. And it looked like nothing was happening. And it looked like nothing was going to be accomplished. Amen. Amen. You can shout your way out of where you are. Amen. Amen. I don't believe in put on shouts. I don't need them. I'm lifting a hand to a God that's eternal. Right. If my praise is put on, then you must acknowledge that what I'm praising is put on. Right. What I'm praising is real. Right. I got a real God here tonight with a real Savior and a real plan. Young people, I don't know, but I believe I'd just, hey man, start youth rally a little early. Right. Might stand right now and just worship Him. Praise Him tonight. Give God the glory right here in the house of God. Amen. 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 I feel like He wants to help us right here tonight. Amen. And is that not the most redundant thing I could say? Because God wants to help us every night. He wants to help us in every situation. He doesn't quit being God in the gap. One of them places, Sister Kathy, 
And the Lord, this was years ago. And the Lord led me over to the scripture where David said, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. When you magnify something, you do not make it bigger. It gets no bigger. It stays the same size. You just increase your ability to see it. God, would you increase these young people's ability to see you tonight? Let's worship him. sister whenever you got it let's just obey God right now amen amen well the Lord let down the hedge on Job to try him took all his cattle everything that he know oh but Job didn't sit there and cry he lifted his hands up high came out of that valley praise God with a whole lot more I'm going to walk out of this valley with my hands and praise the Lord. Everybody should have said here. 